Hey YouTube, it is Mr. Hino. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this video um, basically how to solve up a portion like we have done before in the previous videos, but this video in particular just showing how do you check to see if your answer is right. So I'm going to use the same proportion that I did in the previous video, solve it, and at the end is the main point. How do we prove that it's right? So I'm going to go ahead and do what I did in the previous video and basically solve this algebraically where I'll cross multiply and 5 times n is 5n and then 9 times 3 is 27. So again this is the algebraic way to solve this proportion where I cross multiplied and let's go ahead and solve. So if I'm going to solve this equation I'm going to divide by the number next to the variable which is 5 so I'm going to divide this left side by 5, and 5 into 5 is 1, so that basically cancels out the 5's, and I'm left with n. And if I divide 27 by 5, let's come over here and do that. 5 into 27 goes 5 times, and there's a remainder of 2, and 5 goes into 20 4 times. So n equals 5.4. But you might say, well, how do I know? How do I know that's right? So what we can do is basically put this 5.4 up here where n is. And then we can now just cross multiply and just double check. If we get the same number, uh, we are correct. So I mean, we already cross multiplied here. So 9 times 3 is 27. And all I have to do now is make sure that 5 times 5.4 is 27. If it is, then 5.4 is correct. So 5.4 times 5, and we get 27. So 27 is what we get from both sides. So that's how I know that 5.4 is correct. So just a cool way to check to see that your proportion answer is correct. Thanks for watching and hope that was helpful.